All right, guys. This shit is crazy. So, like, I just had Radagos just pull out of nowhere and just, like, chat with me, start chatting with me. He was, like, like he seen my uh, one of my videos. He's, like, some guy linked me your video, and I found it hilarious. Uh, which video? About White Man. Didn't know the competition's uh, ticket wait time is four, uh, six weeks. So, I, uh, made, I made a joke in, like, one of my previous videos. I was, like, oh, hell yeah. War Man is blizz like as hell. You, uh, you put a fucking a ticket in, and you, uh... You have to wait blizzard wait times for that uh for that GM response. Cause when you put a ticket in on Warman, I think it takes like eight days or something. It takes a really long time. No, I mean I was over exaggerating because like I mean Blizzard takes forty days to respond to your ticket and they give you a robot response. But Warman is still like blizz like response times. Um but yeah, he said that I'm very happy with you enjoying it. It's great that you're making wild guides. Just wanted to say thank you for sticking with us. That should help with, uh, the, with the last level. Uh, so like he gave me like uh, this like elixir of exp, like so that's pretty cool. Uh, but then we just started having a conversation, kicking it off. He uh, he gave me a scarlet bag I had sent over to my uh, paladin instead. But yeah, we started talking. Yeah, honestly, enjoying the server. I've had some problems with some bugs and whatnot, but most of the GMs respond very fast. He's like, I hope you enjoy White Mane and we'll do in the future, especially the future seasons. Uh, then I'm like, I wanted to ask uh, how to get the creator role because I've was i been looking at that. <laughs> he's like, uh, yeah, then he said, it should, uh, yeah, I know, it should have been better, but the devs are working all around the clock to fix what, uh, fix it, fix what's frustrating people. So, like, the, the white main GMs have been non-stop hammering out every single bug, just trying to fix everything, coding the game, uh, fixing it up. Like, the server, the server's launch was rough as hell, it was rough around the edges, very, I'd say the server, like, on day one, it kind of sucked, I'll be honest. Uh, but now, like, things are going really well. People are reporting bugs in mass. Like, if you see a bug, you report it. GMs will fix it as soon as possible. It's really, really nice how fast they respond. <laughs> GMs, uh, like, teleport around the, the realm and shit, and they, they really keep up with things. Like, this, the service that you're getting here is infinitely better than Warmane. Like, I've never seen a GM in-game on Warmane other other than to cheat and uh you know screw other people over but here like gms will see how the game plays how it works everything it's cool as hell um yeah i said sent uh, i wanted to inquire about the future of wrath on white main like what's it gonna be like he's like sure it's gonna be wild many of the players are hoping to find a new ice crown um so yeah just tell a little like yeah long long story short war main sucks people are tired of ice crown they're tired of uh war like war main servers lord Ron players are like bored of lord Ron. uh people are looking for something interesting and so he's uh he's responding you can see these responses right frostborn is going to be permanent once it progresses then we open new realms uh seasonal realms with transfers right so the current frostborn server that they have right now is ice crown from 2016 or 2015 when it first released right so the original ice crown server is their frostborn server so uh white main is pretty much making uh the new ice crown um but they're not going to be as boring as uh as war main right and then he said, I don't want to copy and paste Wrath every year. Wrath's, Wrath is good, but it sucks. The 3.0 uh, the three patch compared to 4.0, it's a joke. Rehash, next Ram is from Vanilla, Eye of Eternity, and Obsidian Sanctum, which are mini raids. Come on. Wrath of the Lich King has so much dormant potential. And I'm like, yeah, honestly, Wrath 3... 3.5 can have so much more content at the end game time walking is kind of a band-aid but for example in the season two i plan to revamp all currencies like kata uh kata missa pandaria so you have justice and valor for pve Congu conquest for pvp no more weekly arena flushes so, I mean, I could scroll down. I'm like, yeah, vanilla raids and TBC raids are thrown in a dumpster. Time walking is really nice to be able to experience old content without having to quit servers and go elsewhere. Um, yeah, like, we're just, like, agreeing on a lot of points, and he's making a lot of good points, and I'm just like, damn, that's, that's so true. He's like, yeah, but the point is to expand. What in the hell? I'm going to drop out of this. I left the Discord.
You guys didn't hear me, right? Yep, cool. Um, in this, so uh, yeah, no more re uh, weekly arena flushes. Uh, yeah, so he's he wants to delete as Joel Narub, uh, or like change it into a raid. He's like as a five man heroic. Uh, it's it's disappointing. He's the uh, fact that Blizzard made as Joel Narub dungeon is just disaster. Is just distasteful. It should be a full sized raid in tier seven or tier nine at least. And I'm like, yeah, it's missing a lot of content. They did me boy Anubrak dirty with that one. Uh, tier nine has so much great potential. Lich King shattering the floor of Crusaders Coliseum, telling us about the Nerubian Empire, and then this it ends with a rehash Anubrak fight, and that's it. <laughs> it's like, behold, the Nerubian Empire. A new Brock. Kill him. Bye. Ding, ding, ding. Done. Like, TOC really uh, fell off. TOC could have been like a 12 boss raid, in my opinion. So I completely agree with him. He's going to come up with, like, they're going to create a whole, like, Nerubian kingdom under uh, TOC uh, in the future. He's, uh, like, I agreed. I said he was such a pivotal character in Warcraft 3, and they made him a side character in Wrath. He's like, yeah, my plan was to delete uh, Azjol Nerub as a dungeon uh, delete a new rock uh, as a TOC boss, and after killing the last TOC boss, you discover the Nerubian Empire beneath the frozen waste of uh, Northrend. as Joel in the Rube Zone with the Spider Kingdom raid. Uh, and then I said, I don't know about deleting the dungeon, removing things hurts the psyche more than it gives twice as much, adding is better than removing. And he said it'd be changed into a raid. Renaming and swapping Anubarak for the other bosses would also work, though. As Joel in the Rube, the Lower Kingdom, and my dude. Just listen to the way that sounds, bro. As Joel Narub, the Lower Kingdom, bro. Like, that's insane. Like, yeah, the conversation carries on for a while. On, uh, honestly, could work with any other bug boss. I really like the ideas. Yeah, lots of things to explore. The, the content you guys are making is great new twit. Uh, Great new twist to Wrath helps take away from the same old boring. Looking for more ICC 7.8k gear score, full bis, link your link your Firelands achievement. Uh, he's like, though I'd focus most mostly on gameplay changes like arena warding conquest points right away instead of waiting. And I said, yeah, send it as a step in the right direction. Uh, I, actually, no, he said that. Yeah, and I agreed. Yeah, so I'm like, I'm excited to do the Ascended things. It reminds me of Lordaeron as more, most hardcore Wrath Raiders. 25 men Ascended would be awesome. Have you ever taken a look at Lordaeron? Uh, so it's a lot of, like, conversation between me and him. And then at this point, like, he started, like, uh, telling me more. Uh, to be honest, I'm super passionate about Wrath, like Ascended new ra uh, ascended Raids, new Legendaries. Uh, I knew it was a risk, but I wanted to do a change to the landscape of, la of Wrath. Uh, but Ascended is specifically harder than 10-man. 10 10-man 10 is uh, normal. So so you got normal 10-man, then you got Ascended, you got 25-man, and then 25-man Heroic is going to be hard as hell. Uh, all of the content for 25-man on White Main is buffed, like it is on Lordaeron. It's like buffer than Lord on the values are higher and the content is going to be hard really hard and then you could say the 25 men is already ascended essentially um and then i was like delawile and warman uh Lord on hosts a large community of hardcore raiders and if white men can deliver that it'd be awesome wait you mean 25 man raids are already buffed 25 man normal he's like yeah of course it's ev everything except time walking uh so essentially time walking will be based on like the previous values so uh, right here, down at the bottom, Stormwell Plateau will be Nax 25 unbuffed, Molten Core will be TOC 25 unbuffed, Zolgrub will be 10-man TOC, um, Yeah, he's uh he said that it is too risky to offer too much on a single realm, so like he's already going out of his way, like adding a lot of the stuff. He said there's gonna be a path of war with old war, which is instant eighty for PvP players. These are all ideas that are being bounced around in his head though. Nothing here is confirmed or guaranteed. Like he's just whispering me, but like this is some really interesting things. So like at the end of the day, I don't want any of you guys taking this like as guarantees this is just one guy talking to another guy in a private server uh like uh G like the head gm talking to a, a content creator right but these are ideas being bounced around in the head like you can see like like what even war main made their own custom raids like now they did a kind of poor attempt at it but white main being a, a, a vastly superior server with a much better uh and more competent uh programming team can you can get this stuff done and they can create the content that we've been missing out like original wrath of lich king 3.3.5 content is going to be available on white main new content 
I mean, granted, it's not going to be by, made by the original developers, but it's going to be pe made by people influenced by them. Like, this is crazy. Yeah, and then also we're preparing challenge modes. Hopefully it will work out without issues where you enter next Ramus and you're equipped with preset gear. So every challenge mode is basically streamlined and you can't over gear. Only skills matter for PvP players. I also prepare titles, achieves for post uh, Wrathful Seasons, he says. Like, look at these. He's got Sat Scarlet Gladiator, Icebound, Plagued, uh, Invincible um deathly like these are new titles you're going to be able to get in game uh for post wrathful seasons because this realm is going to be in game later on so it only makes sense to introduce new titles and achievements anyway i'm pretty hyped for all this as you can tell so i'm no longer bothering you i hope you have a great time here like bro this shit is insane dude like, he's coming up with a ton of different ideas and just bouncing them around in his head and, like, laying it on me. And, like, honestly, I'm super fucking hyped to play on this server. Now, the bugs are really exhausting, I'll be honest. Like, anyone else who's played on White Mane for the first, like, week and a half to two weeks, we're going to be going for Realm first and stuff. That's going to be our uh, thing. You can see on the left side of the screen, like, we're I got an advertisement looking for the players that we need to fill our comp. But... The bugs are exhausting, uh, some of the stuff is getting a little, like, you know, annoying. They're trying to balance new things, they're buffing experience and the BGs and stuff, like, but all in all, <laughs> the server itself is holding strong. It's a, like, it, it's a really nice server, people are playing on it, there's a lot of people. It's 1am in the server time, let's see how many people are online. Almost 4,000, 3,500 at 1am server time. So you can see the time up there. It's uh it's quite late. It's actually very late. And they still have thousands and thousands of people. Uh the server is very, very active and you might think like maybe they're just leveling. Like these there's a lot of eighties, a lot of uh people leveling. You can see BGs going on. Let's see, can we see anybody that's in a BG here? Uh Warsong Gulch. Yup, look at that. Entire list of 50 people all in Warsong Gulch. Tons of PvP. You got world PvP. You got battlegrounds. You got in game PvP. Um, people are going ham hog wild. Like, this server is popping off in all different ways. Like, if you thought that their Cataclysm servers were great, this server is blowing it out of the water. This is a really good server. Uh, so far, I mean, sure, they might fuck up in the future. They might do some really crazy bullshit and, you know, piss everybody off, ban hundreds, thousands of people. You know, they might drop the ball. But as of now, there is no malpractices that I've seen, uh, like, outside of maybe, like, uh, a couple of things. But uh, content creators have gotten some, like, special treatment from what I've seen. Uh, as you can see, like, I got this little, little, uh, thingy, and I got the bag, but, like, I mean, some of this stuff is just basic, like, you know, oh, you're a content creator, you're making videos and promoting our, 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 our not our game channel, um, you're promoting our server, right? So, like, like they're rewarding content creators. Like, I don't think that's malpractice. I think that's a server being polite and nice to the, to the guys that are taking care of them, right? And, like, at this point, I'm promoting White Mane. But am I really like because like if, if I see something wrong, I'll call them out just like I did Warmane. I promoted Warmane for years and years and years. And now I'm doing the same for Whitemane because Whitemane's just the better server. If I see another server that's really, really fucking good, I'll promote that server too. Like there's a lot of certain like there's a lot of people playing on, on private servers and there's a lot of servers that can be promoted. And I don't mind promoting any of them. As long as I can see good things coming from them. But I don't see anything good coming from Warmane. That's why I shit on it all the time. Uh, I just I feel really bad for anybody playing on that server at this point. Because it's it's slowly becoming a dead server. People are investing hours and hours and hours of their time. Uh, months and years. I have hundreds of hours. And I just like I abandoned those characters essentially. right? So I'm just saying stuff like this is exciting. It's new. It's vibrant. There's new titles. There's new content. Us Joel and Rube, the Lower Kingdom. Like it, it, it's not ICC 25. Looking for more ICC 25. Need full abyss. Give me your achievement to get your achievement. It's like no. There's new things to do. There's new content. There's the Sun Loot achievement. The legendaries. All this new stuff to do. This is gonna be amazing.
like honestly this game like the passion i have for this game and the, the stuff that they have available this is oh my god it's so juicy like the, the whole server like if you're not playing on white main you need to play on white main like at the end of the day this is just infinitely better than war main it's infinitely better than every war main server lord ron uh ice crown black rock and if, at the end of the day it's it's probably better than every other private server out there but like i i haven't experienced every one of them but i'm seeing players from dela wow circle wow sir uh sorry dela wow circle wow uh turtle wow the war main a whole lot of war main players like all my haters are here they're like fuck you fish bro we hate you fish bro fucking by that creep i like you know you gotta love my haters like my haters are all over the place but you know outside of that like this server is so good like look at this oh my god all right i i gotta stop fucking i gotta stop riding the meat of fucking white man but at the end of the day this server is good yeah you have my fucking yeah uh i'm gonna just end the video like i i, I got nothing more to say it's just anything i say is just gonna be positive reinforcement on how good white man is um so yeah, at the end of the day, hit that like button, subscribe, maybe drop a comment. Let me know what you think of this. Like, what do you think of these ideas? A new time walking, star, uh, Sunwell Plateau, Zolgarub, Molten Core, new dungeons and raids, like content. I mean, this is everything Blizzard should have done from what the, from the looks of it. Like, so at the end of the day, hit that like button and drop that comment. Tell me, I need to know. I need, like, I gotta know that. I'm not the only one here thinking this is amazing drop that like or fuck not that like drop that comment in the comment section but give me your thoughts i'm tired of speaking all right i want to hear what you have to say go to the comment section tell me what you think give me a fuck you fish bro you're trash fish bro tell me how bad i suck tell me i suck dick i know how it works uh you know the, give me a little bit more hate messages down there and then fucking give me your give me your feedback let me know what you're thinking boys